So now that we've been testing a lot of the new 13th generation Intel laptops and the new 7000 series Ryzen laptops, it's a great time to get in some new 5600 megahertz fast DDR5 RAM. So today we're gonna be looking at the Kingston Fury 64 gigabyte DDR5 RAM at 5600 megahertz. This is currently the fastest RAM you can get on the market in the highest capacity. So in this video, we're gonna open up and take a quick look at this RAM. We're gonna show you how to install it in a laptop. And we'll be testing it against a stock 5600 megahertz RAM kit in my Blade 16 and also a 64 gigabyte slower 4800 megahertz RAM kit. So to start, let's open this up and take a look. Now, obviously with these RAM kits, you really don't get lots, just the two 32 gigabyte RAM sticks themselves, which gives us our 64 gigabyte kit, a Fury sticker and a little warranty card and information sheet. And that's really it. And obviously what you're paying for is these two very nice looking RAM chips. Now, very often when you open up your laptop, you just have a dull green RAM chip with no branding or anything on it. We were gonna be replacing it with this really good looking Fury Impact RAM kit itself. 5,600 megahertz and some pretty good RAM timings. Now, because it's a 64 gigabyte kit, which comes with two 32 gigabyte RAM sticks, there are chips on both sides of this stick, which will be very much different to potentially the RAM that you're upgrading from on your old laptop. So the first thing you wanna to do to actually upgrade your laptop itself is make sure the laptop is turned off and unplugged. Flip the laptop over, and you normally have to just unscrew a few screws and pry off your base plate. Now I've installed this so far in a, my Razor Blade 16 and also the Anywhere M18. Now I'm gonna show you just installing it in both of these machines. First thing you wanna make sure you do is unplug the battery before you remove your old RAM sticks. And then very carefully, you insert your new sticks in at a 45 degree angle into the socket and then push it down to the retaining clips snap into place and it's a nice clear click and you know it's locked in. When you've done that for both of the sticks, plug your battery back in and replace the base cover and screw it back on. From there, you just turn the laptop back on. You will be prompted with a message saying that the amount of RAM has changed. Click OK to that and proceed into Windows. That is it. There's no more configuration needed. Your new RAM is installed. And if I show you straight away on my Razor Blade 16 in the system information, you can see I've got my 64 gigabyte kit is showing and it's actually running at 5,600 megahertz, which is what we want. Now, not all laptops will be able to do the 5,600 megahertz on a 64 gigabyte kit. Some laptops may only give you 5,200 megahertz like the Alienware M18. Now the 32 gigabyte kit shouldn't be affected. It's just unfortunately some of the 64 gigabyte kits. But to be honest, you're not gonna see a massive amount of difference in performance between 5,600 on this Blade 16 and the 5,200 on the Anywhere M18. So now that the actual RAM is installed, and it's up and running, I'm gonna run just a few benchmarks. And the first one I always like to run is Ada 64, which is just a pure memory benchmark. And you can see here I have scores for the stock 32 gigabyte of 5,600 megahertz that this actual laptop came with. I then put in a 64 gigabyte crucial 4,800 megahertz kit that I was using last year before this new faster RAM came out. And then finally, you can see our new Fury 64 gigabytes is quite a bit faster than both of these two kits. And not only is it faster in Ada 64, I also ran a Geekbench 5 benchmark on all of these RAM kits. And again, you can see that it scores much better with this new 64 gigabyte Fury kit, making it, in my opinion, well worth spending a few extra pounds on than an older 4,800 megahertz RAM kit. So there we go. In my opinion, this is a really fantastic little RAM kit. It actually wasn't even that expensive, which quite surprised me because when the 5,600 megahertz kits did come out, they were really pricey. Now I bought this from Amazon and I will put a link in the description down below in case you want to get the same kit as me. And as always, if you've got any questions, pop it in the comment section down below and I will get back to you. And lastly, thank you for watching.